Here we go. There's a. instrument sweating after that one yeah mine i got mine all wet here that's probably just drool <laughs> that's andrew got? marlin i'm tommy edwards we're very pleased to be here on behalf of pinecone and the ibma right in front of the house that bill monroe lived in when he lived in raleigh in the mid-1930s and was playing music with charlie monroe on radio station wptf we are enjoying being here on a nice summer day i'm going to play some tunes for you how about one that charlie and bill did here's one charlie and bill did one two <laughs> I know I 
Well, I surely know the best I know That's the way I get him out of nothing I get me a briar and I twist him in his head That's the way I get him out Charlie Monroe songbook there. Yeah, it's a goofy one. Feast here good. tonight, or rabbit in the log. And here's the rabbit right there. <laughs> <laughs> rabbit in the mulch. Okay. So uh, this is a song that I, a lot of people have recorded, but it's one that I first heard from Caleb Clotter out in Portland, Oregon. He's one of my favorite singers. Sings with the Foghorn String Band. So it's called, I don't, I don't really know what it's called. Old Love Letters? To, today I burned your old love letters. Let's I go with that. Well, today I burned your old love letters. I slowly burned them one by one. And as I I read on so that I could see what you had done. The first you wrote me was the sweetest, the last one broke my heart in two. And our love. Sweet. 
Set, I may not be able to go on. That song will do it to you. We have a, a set here that so we'll have something to ignore. <laughs> Want to switch and do the wheelhouse now? Sure. Pop yeah, it up after that. that. Here's another Bill Monroe number. Uh, it has a has a good story. I'm not probably the one to tell it, but it has to do with with horses and teams of horses and the one that is the closest to the wheel that does the really heavy pulling and that's the wheelhouse and that's what Bill Monroe was. He was the wheelhouse. Indeed.
Yeah, little horses pulling. Of course. <laughs> yeah. um, can't be from North Carolina and not sing a bunch of Doc Watson songs. Um, this is one that I heard from him. It's called The Orphan Girl. One, two, three, one. never really heard that song but once or twice till you told me about it the other night and I thought, I'm really glad you decided to do it. Seems timely, you know. Yes, it is timely, no doubt. Um, you got yeah. one you want to sing? Mm -hmm. how, about a, how about a nice spiritual number there? Oh, a spiritual number would be good. Bill and Charlie, they did a lot of spiritual numbers. In fact, I guess their biggest early hit was, was a spiritual number. 1936-37, what would you give in exchange for your son? But that's not what we're going to do. We're going to do one I wrote the other day, and Andrew's going to hop in here and play it for us. And uh, It's called, uh, I'll Be Ready When It's Time to Go. One, two. To the river and I've been baptized. Been to the river and I've been baptized. Been to the river and I've been baptized. I found salvation there. I'll be ready when it's time to go. I'll be ready when it's time to go. I'll be ready when it's time to go. I'll meet my Savior.
I'll meet my mother on the other side. Meet my mother on the other side. Meet my mother on the other side. She's waiting for me there. I'll be ready when it's time to go. I'll be ready when it's time to go. I'll be ready when it's time to go. I'll meet my savior. never stops. It never stops. It goes on and on and on. Um, probably relate to this one. <laughs> I swear 2021 will come. We're hoping. One, two, three, one. <laughs>
almost more of a country song, but uh, if we do it, it's going to be more of an old-time brother duet, I guess. Uh, it's about a bar room, and uh, I know there are a lot of songs about bar room, but this is an upscale bar room. It's, it's a wine bar. <laughs> anyway, or at least a place you can get some wine and feel really bad. Well, I'm sitting in this bar alone at midnight. Stagging chairs, the sweeping up the floor. And I'll stay here just as long as they will let me. Although I'm somewhere away, it's just outside that door. One more glass of wine, I believe. One more glass of wine and I'll be gone Well, I can't believe she caused me all this grieving One more glass of wine and I'll go home And he's counting change and turning off the light Well, I guess he's got somebody to go home to But I could stay here drinking till daylight One more glass of wine One more glass of wine and I'll be gone Well, I can't believe she cost me all this grieving One more glass of wine and I'll go home same time. That's I know. Pretty That's a good tune. You wrote that one, didn't you? <sighs> Never can tell. Want to do another Monroe tune? Sure. All right. 
Why don't you play that uh, Big Mon? Monroe's nickname was Big Mon. And here's Mr. Andrew Marlin to uh, render it for you on mm. the mandolin. Can't play it like, like he did. <laughs> but uh, do our best here. Something from the Bill Monroe songbook. Well, I think that's about what we've got time for. What a great pleasure to be here at Bill Monroe's old residence with the wonderful Andrew Marlin. It's fun to get to play with Mr. Tommy Edwards here. Always fun. Always fun when we get to play together, and it's even more fun when we get to share it with folks. Thank you for uh, being here, IBMA. Thank you for being here, Pinecone. Thank you, Dan. Thank you, all the rest of you that are doing the fancy filming around here. We've had a great time playing music for you. Anything else you'd like to say, Mr. Marley? I think you covered it. Okay. Thanks a bunch. Have a great IBMA. <laughs>